miss, I'm a miss, I'm a motherfucking miss, I'm a miss, I'm a miss, I'm a motherfucking miss, I'm a miss, I'm a miss, I'm a motherfucking miss, I'm a miss, I'm a miss, I'm a miss. What's up, Shady Crew? It's your boy Hiatus James, aka the Throw King, and I am back with another reaction. Now, this is gonna be my very first reaction to uh, Tom McDonald's girlfriend better have, um, some may say, his lyrical prowess. Um, Nova Rockefeller. Uh, she just, um, it's my understanding she just dropped an album. This is one of the tracks called uh, Did Your Best. Um, so this is my first take, uh, getting a chance to hear Nora Rockefeller myself. Um, and we're gonna check it out. Now, um, my understanding from Tom McDonald's post was that he was also in this vid as well. Um, so we'll see how crazy and animated he is in this vid also. Um, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting into it and seeing um, how Nora gets down, man. So without further ado, we're gonna hop right into this video. Let's get it. At school he couldn't do the work The kids all called him retarded He got a job in a warehouse Where he packed and cut carpet And he never moved up And he never fell in love He's 50 but really 12 Thinking about giving up She married young And always felt like she had gotten too deep Started feeling like her only way out was to cheat Her friends all villainized her Didn't see she was weak It's been 20 years and it still breaks her heart That they don't speak He was a rock star in small bars until the gigs weren't paying bills He had his daughter in the car And he knew he had to make the choice To put down his guitar And every day he wonders If he could have been a star It's so much to unpack already, bro. Like, we're like a minute and three seconds into this vid, man, and I'm definitely loving this. Uh, Nora is my type of artist, bro. The type of artist that spins a story, bro. I already told you guys for years now, spin me a story, I'll sit right here all day. Um, but she talked about um, with the kid being 50 going on 12, bro, like having real adult life issues at an adolescent age. She talked about um, the mom trying to get out of the relationship because it's going sour. So like she's looking for the side piece, talking about the father aspect of it, you know, dreams, aspirations, not really coming to fruition. But at the end of the day, you have nothing to prove, bro. Like, you did your best. You did what you thought was your best, bro. I rocks with it. I rocks with it. Like, uh, we're in such a society now where everybody is so hooked on trying to impress the next person, bro. Impress yourself first. Be happy with you first. And I just love the way that she spent this, man. Going from the youngest um, to, the, to um, what I would think would be the oldest and kind of putting those layers out there it's lit man um i'm definitely digging this track so far and just the way that she's breaking it and presenting it um and it definitely does like i can tell tom mcdonald and nora are like a unit because their flow styles are definitely uh similar and the way that they present now hers isn't so much in this track satire but it's facts bro it's facts and she's spitting nothing but it um but let's hop back in bro i just had to pause and share my thoughts because she gave us so much in the first minute of this track that like you can't just skip over that bro uh let's hop back in Diagnosed with Parkinson's, it's something she lives with We're strong and independent, now we're lies and the children Her voice shakes when she speaks, she's embarrassed, she hates to talk And every day she wakes up wondering if new parts of her are lost Ooh. He got her pregnant before he could finish school He got busy acting dumb cause he didn't know what to do mm. He ignored he had a girl till her mother stopped calling too On his deathbed he wished for the daughter he never knew Wow. She loved her family, two girls and two boys Husband in the garage, she yells she's sick of the noise And one day he's out riding and he dies in a crash Now she do anything to have the buzz of his sock Crash along the way 
Talk your shit, Nora. stop it right there man so let's get into this nora rockefeller man um know you did your best man um or did your best this was definitely a dope track bro very heartfelt plays on the heart screens man definitely has the replayability like um you gotta be careful though because this is a track that if any of these type of situations kind of apply to you it can definitely get you in your feels bro and i don't know if these are scenarios or situations that nora herself have experienced it kind of sounds personable when she's talking about it in her lyrical um layout but like bro that like dealing with parkinson's you understand like you can't control the motor functions of your body that you have been controlling for 60 plus years bro like these are situations and scenarios bro that 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 press on the heart like um you know th this is parkinson's is in line with kind of like the dementia you know how she mentioned you know you wake up and a body parts missing but that you don't recall like like it's a lot that she put in this track man and she really just laid her heart out on uh on wax and i appreciate her being vulnerable and just putting it out there um because this was definitely dope it was definitely something to think about because a lot of times when it comes to family um we only think about ourselves we only think about what pertains to us and we don't really think about how others um you know experiences and things that they've gone through how that impacts like the family aspect of life and um her touching on it from like i said the the, the youngest to the oldest to the point of you know you got an illegitimate child that's out there that you would love to get to know but you spent all of your time doing you and now time has run out and you never got that opportunity like bro like that hits on the heart bro um i can i know that this identifies with a lot of people out there they've had similar situations and uh gone through similar uh you know issues that she presented bro so definitely salute to uh nor rockefeller bro i rock with this track heavy um and for this to be like the first track that i've ever listened to of nora's uh I'm, i keep saying nora i keep saying nora i apologize nova um bro this was fire for me bro this was fire for me like this is a track that i would literally sit here and just listen to on repeat and try to pick apart everything and try to feel the emotion of the artist and all of that like these are tracks that i enjoy um because the the artist puts so much energy into these types of tracks man so salute to nova man uh, she holding it down um, definitely go out go ahead and check out Nova check out the album check out what she's doing um, she definitely has a vibe man and I love her hook on this track man like she gave the vocals she gave that vocal intensity um, so it was definitely a lit track for me man you guys have to let me know in the comments what you thought about Nova Rockefeller's track um, and some of the things that she's doing give me the backstory let me know um definitely would love to hear it but i'm gonna go ahead and keep this moving make sure you stay locked to this channel your videos coming up next make sure you smash that like subscribe if you are new and i will catch you guys in the next one and as always stay shady out there